Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So um, <clears throat> I'm here inside my container home and I got the fireplace going because uh, we're in the Ozarks and it's starting to get pretty cold here in the winter time. Uh, right now outside is about 30 degrees. It's going to go down to the 20s tonight. So I got the wood stove going and uh, here's a new addition that I wanted to show you and uh, just do kind of a gear re review of it. And so this is, um, this is my Yodel stove and on top of it is this product right here. Now it's the uh, win winter well, or uh, it's not, it almost looks like winter well, but winter well, and uh, it is a oven that is made or designed for use on top of a wood stove. Now I actually do have a winter well product, uh, the outdoor stainless steel stove but uh, this is an oven that they sell separate from it and i wanted to review the oven first because i could use it right now now we've been using it uh, to warm up things like pizzas uh, we've baked some cookies in it and i'll show you what i have in it next but at any rate uh, what i wanted to do is a quick gear review now i've owned these kind of stove top ovens in the past and um, unfortunately, the cons of all of these is it is kind of lightweight. Um, the gauge of the material isn't great. So I've had the Coleman one in the past and now this winter well. I would say that this winter well is designed better and the quality of the stainless steel is much better and the materials are much better. And so um, I would recommend this over the Coleman, Coleman oven. And uh, so here are some of the pros and the cons. So. Um, the pro is it's very big. Uh, it's actually slightly bigger than a Coleman. Uh, it's very deep. It's very wide. Uh, roughly 12 by 10, a little bit more than that, I think, um, in terms of the, the, the length and the width. And the, and the height is about 10 inches or so. And uh, yeah, it's very deep. And so I think I have about a 9.5 inch uh, or 10 inch pie plate in there. It's also stainless steel. And now I'm cooking in there some fish sticks. So the uh, pros of it is uh, it, it gets up pretty high. It gets up as high as your stove. So right now it's uh, showing that it's roughly 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see on my stove, uh, it's roughly about 250 as well. And you can see my fan going to blow the hot air around the container. Um, and so the, the uh, the positives of it is it's very large, large um, uh, space inside for things like baking and reheating. And there's two levels, which I like down there and here where it's sitting on. And, um, and so, yeah, it also compacts down to about, let's say, uh, three and three and a half inches, four inches or so. So it's pretty portable as well. So all in all, in terms of the portability, the usefulness, or just you know getting it out of the way clutter-wise, it's actually a pretty good product. It has this uh, nice uh, stainless steel handle there, um, and it has this uh, stainless steel uh, door latch, which is nice, um, so you don't get all hot. And the other thing is, it really does a good job of circulating the hot air inside, and so um, it really does keep an even heat on the top as well as the bottom. Um, obviously it would be a little bit hotter on the bottom but not much and so internally the temperature in there is pretty even I wish I had my um, infrared heater uh, measurer here to show you that but at any rate you can see by the temperature gauge right there and on my stove over here that it is keeping very much close to what the stove temperature is and so that's the other nice thing you can control the heat uh, how you like it and so uh, just the negatives. I mean, most of these uh, oven top kind of stoves, uh, the gauge of the seal is not great. Um, it is fairly thin. It does bend. However, um, it's it's pretty useful the way it is. And in terms of lightweight, I guess they had to do it. And of course, cost cost measures as well. Now, the other thing uh, about this uh, stove, I would recommend this over the Coleman. Uh, the Coleman is probably like half the price and so yeah I mean that's kind of nice to use that. The advantage of the Coleman is you can put it directly over um, uh, propane flame heat. This you really cannot. Uh, this is really designed for stovetop operation like here. 
And so, um, yeah, that's kind of the, the negative of the, of the winter well product. You really have to only use it on top of a stove, whether it's theirs or on another product like this. Um, the other negatives about it is uh, when you look at the design of it, you see down here it's a mesh product. And that's uh, twofold. I mean, it, yes, it helps circulate all the hot air inside. And, uh, and that's the design of it. But also if you get like grease or things like that that fall down into um, the oven, it's gonna go right on top of your stove. So not good in terms of that. But if you capture all of the, of, all of the grease and, and whatnot, like I am with this pan, with the stainless steel pan, um, you shouldn't have any problems. And also it helps clean it, clean it up and you know, You'll like it a lot. <laughs> You'll like it a lot more uh, over time if you keep it this nice. So at any rate, I would recommend that uh, this product. Um, it's something that you guys can use off grid, uh, especially in this winter season. Hopefully, it'll focus up better again. Anyway, yeah, I can smell the fish sticks. I wish we had a smell of vision here. Not the greatest thing to eat, but. Uh, <laughs> it's something that you can uh, reheat anything frozen obviously and uh, you could even bake in here I think because of it it's uh, consistent heat inside of that box so that's it alrighty shalom